All right, so let's progressively ramp it up a little bit. So let's go to four. This is a um, um, imaging, document imaging system that works and doesn't work, but at different locations. Now we have a fighting chance because it's the same app running on different location and one is working and the other place conks out. Not that it's 100% dead, it's almost dead. Okay, the most annoying problem is that it's intermittent and it's not a hard failure. Okay, soft failures are the hardest problems to troubleshoot. Okay, it just is, it's a very annoying. So let's take a look and you can see here not working and working. All right, um, so I'm gonna open up. I'm not gonna switch screens back and forth, back and forth quickly, um, but I just wanna see what I'm up against, okay? So this is working. It's an application that's working. Um, not a performance problem, so am I looking that closely about the push bit and the packet sizes? Not really, not, not right now. Um, for the most part, it's pretty clean, right? You can see here that the chattiness aside, it's not that bad, okay? The, the brackets are pretty much the same. Uh, there's some TCP connection that um, happened right there. Oh, look, I caught it. Um, All right, 140 seconds. A lot of connections though, right? You see that fin, sin, right? You can see it, even though I'm scrolling fast, you can see it, because you can spot that fin, you can see that, okay? Um, so again, it's part of training and this is what I do. Uh, and then all of a sudden we went to full size packets, etc. All right, that's cool. So that's working. Let's go to not working. Here's the one that's not working. Same thing, a lot of connections opening and closing. You can see the fin, act, sin, right? Um, okay. Hmm? Okay, there were full size packets in the other one. This one is not, so let's scroll down a little bit because remember this is document imaging, so if you can be setting up the form and then when you start to transmit, you can start to see full packet sizes, okay? So Chris, obviously, expert Chris is sitting over here. This guy knows packet analysis like nobody's business. Okay, Chris, right there. <laughs> uh, so, nothing really jumps out. Okay, so let's go back to the working one. Let's do TCP analysis that flags. Nothing, zero. Squeaky clean. That's good. Let's go to the not working one. Maybe we'll see packet analysis, I mean, uh, errors here. Nope, squeaky clean. Everything's good. So now I'm like, oh man, maybe it's an application issue. Maybe it's an application that's corrupted. Who knows? Um, so next, next we check the deltas. Okay, so this is the working one. Let's scroll down to the delta section and it's like, wow, these are big numbers. But keep in mind, this is the working set. No one's complaining about performance. This is a document management system where it opens up scans and whatnot. This is not saying that someone, someone is sitting there for 38 seconds waiting for this application to finish. Again, very important to interview the users. Okay. So let's go to the not working one. Let's see if there's drastic difference in deltas. And not really. Except for one. Okay. Let's go back to the working one. This is working. This is not working. What's the one number that jumps out at you? 119, 120 seconds, the last delta. I like those numbers, because that's twice of 60. So maybe I'm thinking, oh, maybe this is timing out, right? These are good numbers, gives me a clue. 60 seconds, I like those numbers. 180 I like, 270, et cetera, okay? So maybe we should look at that. And notice that these are all SYN connections, okay? Or it could be that this is a batch process and it just triggered it uh, two minutes later. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Okay, but it's something that I need to investigate and go down that rabbit hole because I like those 120 second numbers. And I'm thinking, I'm getting a little excited. Maybe you're not, but I am because I'm a troubleshooter. I'm like, all right, it's not working, 120 second. Make a note of it, okay? Make a note of it because you'll get confused. Um, so be very, um, you know, if you see my real packet analysis numbers, I, 
I, I jot down numbers and packet numbers. Uh, and I do a very good job of that. What I don't do is I don't label it. Um, it's just some random number, like 169 or 220,768. And it's like, well, it looks like a packet number. Let's go to that packet number. And then I can usually recreate my cookie trail. So all I need is just a quick reminder to go to that packet number or a sequence number. And I can usually tell uh, with my chicken scratch. So come up with a technique that allows you to document it so you can go back as you have these little epiphanies. Okay, so the next one that we're going to do is we're going to go down that rabbit hole. Let's normalize the packet number again and let's see from a, because uh, we saw a lot of Cincinnati, let's see if there's a different profile in the working and non working conversation pairs. Okay, all right, TCP 103 of them. We already knew that because we saw all those sin fins happening. Okay, and notice the number of bytes is pretty consistent. Every once in a while, it's, it's, it's a lot. Uh, 34, 29 packets. So again, this application is transmitting a little bit of, but opening up a lot of connection. But it's uh, one of those scanning things, so nobody's sitting there waiting for it, so nobody complains about the performance. All right, and here's a big one, right? Here's 101K, so this is probably the one guy that generated all those 1,500 uh, full frame, full MSS packets, all right? Okay, DNS? No, not DNS, 60 packets, 60 bytes, uh, 52 bytes consistent. Uh, let's do relative start. One, hmm, that's a little interesting. Is there some synchronicity there? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, what port is this? Some port. It's not 53. It's not 579, right? It's not um, syslog. It's not SNMP. It's not some of the well-known ones. All right. Let's close it out. Let's go to the not working one. We looked at the delta, we looked at this. Uh, let's go to statistics conversations. Let's go to TCP connections. Now there's a lot more of them, but I don't know if I captured it for the right duration, same duration, okay? Again, a little bit bigger number of packets, some big packet sizes. Um, and then we go to the relative start here and you can see it opening and opening, closing, opening, closing, a lot of it. And then there's a big jump here. Everybody see that jump, right? I know I can zoom in, but you can. So is that normal or is that not normal? Okay. Let's go back to the working one and see if we see a big jump that we saw from the delta column. Let's go back to the working one. Go back to conversation. And Jasper is yelling at me right now saying, why don't you use colorization so people can follow it? Or is, is Jasper here? Maybe not. Um, but I'm going slow. That's why I'm going slow. So let's look at the TCP. Uh, relative start. Yeah, look, here's one that waited 60 seconds. So maybe it's okay, okay? Um, and we see, do I see a big jump here? Mm, 60, every 60, and then 140. So there was a big jump there too. So maybe it's nothing, because the good, traf good working set has similar profile. A little bit different, but similar. So I'm not gonna freak out about it yet. But there is a big difference, which is what? Between working and not working, there is a difference. This is the working. Let's go to the non-working. This is not working, right? Okay. And this is why you have to have multiple monitors. Trust me, you have to... Working, non-working. What's the difference? There's a difference in size. What else? No UDP. So remember I always said, ask why. Always ask why. Why is there some random UDP port number in the working one and there isn't one on the non-working one? So I checked a few more sites. I said, give me a list where these problematic things happen. And they said, oh, it happens in this branch too. So I checked and I watched, no UDP. Give me another branch where it's consistently good. They gave me another branch. Did a packet capture there because I can do it from the head end side, UDP traffic. So now I have two instances where it's good and two instances where it's bad. And the difference is UDP is not there. What did we do? We called the vendor and said, hey, 
Do you know what this UDP port number here is all about? And they say, yeah, that's our license checking. <laughs> Thank you. Click. Problems are resolved. But why? So, okay, I get it, right? They check the license, so why it works until the licensing check happens and it craps out. Okay, I understand that. But why? Why is there a UDP? Why does UDP make it to the good working ones and doesn't make it to the bad branches? Firewall. Incorrect template. Simple as that. Okay, so again, sometimes we want to look for that cool problem, but again, it's mostly just mundane stuff that if you develop your packet uh, troubleshooting class, you'll be able to pick out. Okay, um, any other questions on this one? Yeah, all easy, right? You're like, ah, this is easy. Well, but the thing is, it's supposed to be a little bit easier because I only have two fins on here, not the normal three fins. That's my. Uh, Yes? Okay, so the question was, um, how is the, what's the escalation process? Um, does it come to performance engineering team or the troubleshooters, Uber troubleshooters, whatever you call them, or does it start with another chain? And typically, it's network operations, um, and depending on the size of your network operations, you might have level one, who are mostly triage, put it in the right bucket, level two, a little bit more senior guys, level three, uh, who's on par with engineering, but working in operations center, and then it could go to network engineering, uh, and then it could get escalated up the chain of command, okay? The reason why this was slow in being escalated up to my old team was because, for the most part, it was working, and then it would, it would stop working, and it was annoying, um, but, uh, it, all it took was the one person who was fed up and made a, a ruckus, raised all kinds of holy hell, the cup runneth over, and then it got escalated. Like everything that happens in your network as well. Okay? All right? All right, so let's look at one more. And then these are getting a little bit uh, progressively, um, and I'm saving the, uh, the last one because we may need some extra time for the last one. The last one, I'm not gonna lie, is probably a three-star or three-fin uh, network analysis one, um, but I can't help myself. 